What's a battery? If you ask me a definition of the battery, it's simple. It's an external source which is maintained to create PD between two points. Simple. Simple. Ideal battery. Ideal battery will create the PD between those two points which will be equal to its EMF. And we have done this way too many times in capacitors. Remember? Ideal battery says that if this is EMF E, this is 0, this is E. Simple. Sure? Sure. And what happens inside the battery? Obviously, chemical energy is being converted into electrical energy for usage. Obviously. That goes without saying, isn't it? A typical construction is on your screen. Right? The work is being done in driving a unit charge across the terminals. And of course, that work done per unit charge is equal to what? The EMF. And that is also the potential difference between A and B. This is the working of the cell. Don't worry. We'll study this in detail anyways in the chemical effects of current. Don't worry about that. And you will also study this in electrochemistry. Right now, I'm interested in the macro observation. Okay? Now comes the real thing. The real thing is, ideal thing kya tha? This is the ideal thing. That in a dabba, in this box, the ideal world says that, that's it. And this is E. It says that you connect it across something. This side will give you a zero. This side will give you E and that will remain forever. But the real world says, hold on, hold on. That's ideal world. In real world, batteries get discharged, no? Yes, sir. Isn't it? Why do they, why, what happens? In the ideal world, battery will never get discharged, no? Because it's a constant potential difference, but it doesn't happen like that. Because the battery, the material it is made up of, has the resistance of its own. And that is called internal resistance of the battery. So in the box which I drew, in the box which I drew, actually there is more, more than just the potential difference. There is a resistor also. So the real world box looks like this. Take it, take your time, take your time. Take your time. Now, I'm about to derive certain things for you and name them. Are you ready? Ready, sir. What is the definition of EMF? Yep. Definition of EMF. Sir, EMF. Don't know. Hold on. Hold on. I want a definition of EMF which is true for real world an ideal world. What if this is E, this is E, and this dabba contains some resistance of its own? Give me one definition. Come on, guys, you can do this. And the hint is on the screen. Hint is on the screen. Give me the definition of EMF of the battery. Sir, you only said, na, the work done in moving the unit charge from this, uh, from this potential to that potential. No, no, no. That's micro definition. Macro. Macro. Uh, sir, the potential difference, I, uh, oh, oh. no idea, sir, because sir, you are saying that ideal battery will create a potential difference equal to E, but real battery will not create equal to E, something because of the internal, something will change, right? But hold on, what if the battery is not in use? The hint is this, what if the battery is not being used? Achha, so if battery is not being used, oh, so if this is zero, this is E. If this is zero, this is still E na baba. Are resistance, in order to resistance affect things, it needs current. Ah, hold on, write down, write down, write down. Write down. And the definition I'm about to tell you is valid for both real and ideal battery. EMF of a battery, no pre-adjective, no ideal, no real. Dono ke liye EMF of a battery is the PD across 
EMF of a battery is the PD across the cell, across the cell when it is not connected to the external circuit. And why is this definition so important? Because it automatically gives birth to a new question. Tell me, I'll say the statement again and you tell me what is the obvious question which comes in your mind. I'll repeat the statement. EMF of a cell, of a cell lelo, theek hai? EMF of a cell is the PD across its endpoints when it is not being used, when it is not connected to the external circuit. Tell me, what is the obvious question now? That's right. What if it's connected? Very good. Very good. Correct? Correct, sir. I just want you to be with this picture which I'm about to leave you with for ideal. And then I'm going to go for real. Always remember, the ideal cell picture, the ideal cell picture has this and this only. If this terminal is A and this terminal is B, and this EMF is E. Do you agree that VAB is equal to E always? Click, watch, VAB equal to E. If I connect ideal also, will VAB still be equal to E? 100%. Got it? Got it. Now, what if? The internal resistance is there and the circuit gets closed. If I ask you, what is the role of a battery? So the battery provides energy to the circuit. Wrong. Are? Why wrong? Wrong. I have an issue with the word provides. What do you mean by provides? I mean, the battery will give energy. Achha? Have you ever never understood something called charging of a battery? Is aren't the car batteries charged? Don't you have portable battery chargers? What's happening there then? Oh, so the problem is the word provides. I never taught you that. This is inherent. I only told you battery is nothing but an external source which creates a PD between two points. Creating a PD and providing are it's a day and night difference, Baba. So first take out the misconception that battery provides. No. Battery can take. What is the official word for anything which provides to the circuit? Source. What is the official word for anything which takes from the circuit? Load. So what is battery? What is battery doing when it is giving energy? Acting as a source. And in that process, battery is getting discharged. I'll repeat. Like for example, when I'm driving the car. Hmm? What happens? Chalo chodo, not, not example. Let's say when you, uh, your remotes, okay? Your chargeable cells. When the, when the cells are in your remote and you're using the remote, what is that cell or two cells doing? They are giving energy. They are being source to the circuit. But when you put them in the battery chargers and switch it on, what are they doing? Accepting energy. Then they are load. Okay? So when the battery is source, it is getting discharged. When battery is load, it is getting charged. Now watch what happens. I am going to draw this circuit separately out here. Where is the battery? Don't worry. I am going to draw. And I am going to use a different color also. So that it is nice. Here is the battery. And don't worry, there is a bulb there. Uh, you can try, draw a bulb also, not, not, no problem. Don't worry about that. Okay. This is E and this is small r. What is E? EMF of the battery. What is small r? Internal resistance of the battery. Where are the terminals of the battery? A and B. Achha. So your blue dabba got connected between A and B. Now watch. Let's say the battery is giving to the circuit. So the current is this way. Look at the diagram in the right, uh, the micro diagram also. <clears throat> Sir, what is the value of current? Uh -huh. Right now, forget about the value of the current. Bhul jau. Okay. Let the current be I. Okay. 
Now entry positive, yes sir. And exit negative, yes sir. And what is the drop in between, sir, IR? Is there any problem so far? No. Now take the potential of B arbitrarily to be zero. Arbitrarily. What will be potential of this point? Well, sir, from plus you went minus. So the potential decrease, sir, it would be minus IR. Are you sure? 100%, sir. And then what would be potential of A? Sir, minus IR and plus E. Minus IR and plus E. Now if I ask you, what is the potential difference between A and B? What is VA minus VB? E minus IR. Check it. And what is this called? This is called terminal voltage. And what is strikingly beautiful thing about this terminal voltage? Can you see that? Ah, now I get it. So you are saying if it's a 10 volt ka battery, 10 volt ka battery, although the batteries are not strictly written as 10 volts, if you read a battery closely, they write the milliampere hours. But again, I'm digressing. Don't worry. Be with me. Let's say it's a 10 volt ka battery. Somebody says, here it is, 10 volt battery, use it. So when I'm using it, technically the points in between I'm connecting it, it is not giving me 10 volts, right? Right. So can I go ahead and simply say, hello, battery's actual terminal voltage is not EMF, it's less than EMF always. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, problem. What's the problem, sir? With the word always. It is only when battery is acting like a source. Check out the current. Is the current coming out of the positive terminal of the battery? Yes. So what is battery doing? Providing. Now you get talking. So when battery provides, the terminal voltage across its endpoints is less than the EMF. Yes, that's correct. That is correct. I like that. Take your time. Yes, yes, that's fine, that's fine. Correct statement. Okay. So, sir, what happens if it's acting as a source? Uh, acting as a load? Is this fine? E minus IR is fine? Oh, don't worry, it'll come again. Now, <laughs> what if the battery is charging? Ready? Ready, sir. Same thing. Same thing again. The current is coming. Entry plus, exit minus, IR. Notice, how do I know this battery is getting charged? So this, this battery is acting like a source. And this battery is acting like a load. Can you see the current entering into the positive terminal of the battery? The battery is acting like a load. Now take B to be zero randomly. What would this point be? Uh, from minus, sir, IR. And what would this point be? Sir, IR plus E. Did you get that or not? I have to erase this huh? because this is a tabulation of results. Take your time. Take 30 seconds. See. So, sir, when is a battery acting like a source? When the current exits from the higher terminal. Sir, when is a battery acting like a load? When the current enters the higher terminal. It's all about the higher terminal. All about. So, sir, if the, bat the battery is acting like a source or it's getting discharged, terminal voltage is E minus IR, which is less than E, sir. I'm glad you agree. And, sir, when the battery is acting like a load, sir, the terminal voltage looks like E plus IR, which is more than E. Absolutely. Absolutely.